Karlstadt, New Jersey, a small industrial town buried in the shadow of Meadowland Stadium. Only a mile away sits the Grasshopper also, a family-owned Irish pub and restaurant. Hi, how are you, gals? How are you doing, all right? Good. 17 years ago, newlyweds Mitch and Maureen Sandler purchased the restaurant with Maureen's father, a successful restaurateur with 40 years of experience in the business. We were excited, because you have dreams, and you say, OK, let's go for it. So that's what we did. Ready to rock and roll, right? Yeah, let's go. This is going to be good. It took off. We were booming. Enjoy your meal. People were coming in left and right. All right, this way, please. And as the years rolled by, things started to change in the business. Obviously, it's dead tonight. Just go home, OK? As far as why the restaurant is failing, I don't know. What time are they coming in tomorrow? I don't know the schedule. This place is a nightmare because Mitch. Where's that going? I have no idea yet. This supervision is not what it should be. Mitch, you got to come out here. Yeah. Mitch is responsible for the kitchen. What am I doing in here? He's in this restaurant a ridiculous amount of hours. And a majority of those hours are not productive. Hey, uh, where's the toilet plunger? Can I get a bar mop, please? How are you? Good. There's daily operations of the restaurant that he absolutely should not be involved in. Maybe he could commit more of his time to oversee stuff that is, you know, uh, in the kitchen. All the other stuff has to be done that you're not taking care of. You're doing all that other stuff. Communication between Mitchell and his staff is non-existent. Hey, uh, how long does it take to make rice? The guys don't probably think it's a problem. I'm surprised they didn't make any rice. But ahí está grabando, okay? Sí, está grabando ahí. And because of that, the food at the Grasshopper just looks awful. They didn't like. The, they didn't say there was a lot of flavor in it. It is so dry. He doesn't like this. That's perfect. That steak. It was rare. Mitch won't take no responsibility of uh, quality control. Mitch, you call this soup? Get rid of this shit. My father-in-law blames me for everything. So I'm the scapegoat. There's nobody here. It's horrible. We need some people. If we continue this way, we're not going to make it. I feel like my life is falling apart. It's pretty tough. Every day I think about the restaurant. It's all on my shoulders. And every day it eats at me. We cannot afford this. Well, that's why we need some help here. If Chef Ramsay can't help me, I don't know where else to turn. Uh, this is the last resort. Ramsey, Maureen Sandler. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Okay, this is my dad, Eddie. Eddie Big Fitzpatrick. Bon Chief. Chef Ramsey, Hi. welcome. I thought you were a small little book. No, no, no. This is my husband. Hi, Mitch. Chef. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. We're co-owners. So the three of you are running the business yeah, together. Yes. Correct. Wow. I should really stand between these guys because that's usually the case. <laughs> oh, really? Why, why do you say that? We butt heads occasionally. Occasionally. Are you kidding? We almost kill each other. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You're already refereeing these two. I mean, who does what? I'm the one that oversees the kitchen. OK, so I'd like to get up to speed okay. with you individually and have a quick chat. Come on this way. I'm the one that takes care of the bills, and it's getting tougher and tougher. So we need Chef Ramsay's help. The fact that you stood in the middle of those two guys, is it really that bad, or...? <sighs> Business has changed drastically. And my father has to blame somebody, and he blames my husband. Where does your allegiance lie? With my husband, you know? I support him. How much does it cost to build this? Three million to get it going. That's crazy. What do you think is wrong with the business? Mitch is one of the biggest problems. Do you regret now, 16 years later, giving him part of the business? Yes, I do. Tell me the biggest issue inside Grasshopper. My father-in-law blames me for everything. But is he right or is he wrong? Could be right, could be wrong. Who's running it? I guess I am, right? Let's talk about the food. Um, people seem to like it. Lovely. I can't wait to taste that. Enjoy. Our traditional Irish food's good here. I think you'll like the food, I hope. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. And first name is? Ramsey, Annette. Annette, nice to see you, darling. Very nice to meet you. And you are? 
floor manager here. Floor the manager. Overall, so. How long have you been here? I've worked in this one for 16 years. So you've been here from day one? Day one. What's wrong with the restaurant? Um, it starts at the top. Management, or lack of. Very frustrating. Well, I love your uh, honesty. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate the food? Mm. You're three. Jesus. The cooks are winging it. I don't know. What is that? I don't think care goes into every dish that they're making. OK, have you decided, or...? Let's go for the uh, French onion soup. OK. Shepherd's pie. And I'll go for fisherman's platter. Fantastic. Hungry, hey? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, dying to get my okay. head around. What's going on? All right, what's he having? First things first, we'd like a French onion soup. Thank you. Unbelievable. Lamps from another era. These bonkets, they look like my grandmother's luggage. Unbelievable. Let me taste this. This yes, soup, it tastes like tar. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Do you want a... Yes, OK. Mitch is serving the food, which I told him is completely wrong. But unfortunately, he doesn't know what he's doing in here. Okay, Thank enjoy. You. Thank you. Dreadful colour. <sighs> Jesus, it's like somebody's dropped sliced onions into boiling dishwater. Dreadful. How's the French onion? Yeah, off to a bad start, unfortunately. It's like someone's pissed in my soup. That's not good. We'll take this away. That was dreadful. All right, um, guys, the French onion, he said it's like piss. Flavor, he said it was not good. I told you that onion soup wasn't right. Uh, we know, I know. Well, how are you going to get your kids these guys to do that, right? Uh, I don't know. I'll find out. The kitchen staff will do what they want to do and do as little as possible. Mitch should grab the bull by the horns and be in command. All right, shepherd's pie, here we go. Thank you, Gabriel. He makes a good shepherd's pie. All right, Chef. Thank you. Shepherd's pie. Wow, that's a very bizarre looking shepherd's pie. Someone put gravy on top of my crispy mash? Yes. That is a shocker. Like someone's snot all over my mash. Yeah. And that gravy is made from? Beef. Beef stock on a shepherd's yes. pie. And shepherd's pie is made out of? This one is actually beef. So it's a cottage so. pie, not a shepherd's pie. Because shepherd stands for the... the sheep. The sheep. I'll be back to check on you. Cold, congealed gravy. Just like glue. So how are we doing? Taste that for me. It's yeah. just gross. And it's not hot either. That's partly the reason why they're not coming back. It's just watery. Damn. There was two strikes right away, and I was fairly confident that he would like one of them, at least. You right? Fine. Yes. Good. Damn. There's a, uh, there's a lot of pain on Mitch's face. Batting zero. Yeah. The big uh, whiff. See, he doesn't know what he's doing. Mitch is fucking up everything there. All right, Chef, this is our broiled fisherman's platter. OK. Flounder, scallops and shrimp. Thank you. Fuck it now. My God. Oh, boy. That's gross. Christ. No good, Chef? Soft, bland, rubbery. I didn't realise it could be this bad. Thank you. OK. Mitch can be blind, and I'm not kidding you. He's fucking yelling at you. All you have to do is do what I told you. Yeah. Well, I'm not even going there, Dad. Oh, no, this was not good. This was, this we was saved the worst. This the was worst the worst of the worst. Till right? the end. No, you're here 16 years, so you think your food is decent. To hear otherwise, it's kind of shocking. I, can, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. I didn't realize it could be this bad. Thoroughly disgusted with lunch. Fucking hell, that's gross. Chef Ramsay wants to meet the chefs responsible for this supposed authentic Irish cuisine. Come around this side, please. So who's the chef? Marrow. How long have you been here, sir? I would say from uh, 1997. Did you taste any of the food that came back? Yes, I did. You did? What was your thoughts? I would say it was OK. You thought it was OK? Obviously, because you're smiling. 
I'm embarrassed. You're from Ireland. Yes. What I had there today had nothing to do with Ireland. Shepherd's pie? Well, fuck me, that wasn't shepherd's pie. If you went to Dublin and you served shepherd's pie like that, they would shoot you. The food is embarrassing. Bland, cooked dreadfully. It has no flavor. Where's the pot of scallops? Where do you keep those? Right there. Show it to me, please. Is that what you use out of mine? So that's what you cook my scallops from, yeah? Are they frozen? No, they're not frozen now. They were frozen. They were frozen, but they're yeah. not frozen now. Yeah. You've got no chance of cooking that. Decent. Oh, my gosh. I was dying. I was mortified. It's not hidden. It wasn't a secret. You just have to go in and open a fridge door. What's that in there? I don't think anybody walked into the refrigerator or the walk-in box or inspected it or... Frozen. Everything's frozen. That's what he's getting. Nothing's fresh. Hold on, hold on. Maureen, come over. Mitch, come over, please. What is that? How old are they? They're not that old. That's two days old. That's a funny two days. How are you going to recook them? Help me. What are we going to do? Fry. You refry it. Fry it. So it's fried twice. I want to throw up. There's not enough liquor in that bar to get them inebriated enough to even attempt to eat that. Is there any control in here, guys? Oh, what is that? Mozzarella sticks. And can you see that there? Blood. Blood from where? From the meat. Blood from the meat on the mozzarella sticks. Come on, guys. Thank God I didn't have the fucking mozzarella sticks. It looked like a blood transfusion going on down there. Mitch, when was the last time you went through the fridge? Uh... Talk to me, please. I have not gone through this fridge, Chef. I left it up to my staff, all right? I knew I had a problem with Mitch as far as that supervision was involved, but I didn't think it was as bad, you know? You've got raw meat here, cooked meat, salami, blood in there. Fuck it. Come on, please. Don't do this to yourself, let alone the customers. Rule number one. When learning to cook, you cannot store raw meat and cooked meat on the same fucking shelf in the same fucking fridge. The whole fucking thing has got a cross-contamination. Chief, give me something. It's like a supervision in here. Where's the rest of the fridge? Okay, this way. That's what I need to see. There. Tenders. Chicken tenders. Why is it all bubbly and slimy? There's a chicken cum later. The chicken comes like that. Look how slimy it is. Look how slimy it is. Look at it. Shit. My God, it's horrific. It's totally embarrassing. What is this? How can you serve that? It's like it's been left out for days and it's been attacked by cats. This is where your money's going. Irrespective of where the customers aren't coming from, but just from the base. Yeah, absolute waste. I know, because I pay the bills. Let me just tell you now, I would never, never have put a spoon of anything in my mouth if I knew this was taking place. Shocking to see just the extent of cross-contamination. There's no one checking. I'm sorry, Chief. You may be the Chief, but I swear to God there's one thing the grasshopper hasn't got is a leader. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. At this point in time, I'd like to shut the doors and just say, you know what, bring it off. Someone's got to help me here a little bit. I cannot help a situation who are not willing to help themselves, and you don't need me to come in here and turn your fridge upside down. Mitch! If you're the one with the hands-on role in this business and you're supporting him and you're the, the, the mentoring figure, we're screwed. Do you have people coming tonight? What are we, what are we gonna do? I can guarantee you one thing. I am not serving food tonight with that shit in there. No way. What's that in there? After a horrifying inspection in the kitchen, the whole thing has got a cross-contamination. 
Chef Ramsay was left with no choice. I am not serving that shit in there. No way. I'm beyond, beyond embarrassed about this situation. Shutting down our dinner service, it's a nightmare. We cannot afford this. And OK, you want to open? Fine, of course I want business in here. But open with what? Take one good look at yourselves and fucking think. I need some air, guys. Air and a stomach pump. We have never closed uh, for dinner, ever. I mean, we've had 18 inches of snow outside and we've opened. Mitch, there has to be leadership in the kitchen. What are you going to do tonight? I don't know what's such a... Well, get in there and tell them to clean that stuff off. Guess what they're throwing out? They're throwing dollars out. And guess who's paying for it? We are. We're paying for it. What just happened here tonight was um, kind of a disaster. Mitch knows that this whole thing right now, tonight, is his responsibility. We can't serve any food the way it is. The dinner is canceled. In shock, I'm drained emotionally. I hope this does not happen ever again. Otherwise, we won't be here. Mitch, that's focus. That's where it should have been. This is where you don't listen to me. Oh, okay. Why are you starting to fight just, with me now? Oh, no. all right? I'm just saying it. I'm all right, just... oh, boy, that's where my focus is. But it takes a, an awakening to learn, all right? Bad news, folks. Sorry we're not open tonight. There wasn't enough of supervision in there, and I guess the shit has hit the fan today. I'm sorry about it. Aww. Sorry about that. Definitely I'm embarrassed. As Chief returns from telling customers the restaurant is closed, inside, a leader has emerged to supervise the cleaning of the kitchen. Mitch, all of this has to be thrown out. But it's not Mitch. Because the blood was coming down, throw it out, get rid of it. It's Marine. Right? That has to go. It's very upsetting. The food that's going into that garbage is our profits. Throw out. Gone. And here we are in a situation where we're not making profits. Oh. Mitch, oh. this has to be thrown out. Oh. This has to go. All right, Maureen, all right, all right, all right, right. right. Everything was thrown away, disposed of. Scrubbed, washed, cleaned, and uh, we'll start again. We're cleaning. We're closed. Everything's got to be clean. After an eye-opening first day, Chef Ramsay realizes that it's not just the restaurant that is on the line, but Mitch and Marine's marriage as well. Morning. Hi, Chef. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, it's a tough day yesterday. Yeah, I'll say. Well, this is my home. Go, who's that? It's Mitch. Seriously? Seriously. When was that taken? 13 years ago. Wow. Mitch and I, back in the day, we were best of friends. And through the years now, he's not the same person he used to be. And that's the hard thing. When you opened that restaurant, you got married at the same time. Right. The guy I'm seeing today. You saw that picture. That's not the same person. You haven't got your breathing space. Mitch has been suffocated. And more importantly, the man's getting destroyed on a daily basis. I complain to my father. When he does, like, the busting chops and, like, breaking him down, I'm like, how dare you? So there is me in the between, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's fragmented to where there's nothing constructive taking place. But in Mitch, I think there's a broken man there. He's spent. He works his ass off. And what does he get and what's his payoff? <laughs> 16 years in that business. And it's not right that we're in this situation. And it's our doing, but we have to make a decision on which way to go. The turnaround's gonna start today. We need to start getting Mitch back. Okay. And help him ascertain some form of pride back in his work. Honestly, the turnaround will be huge. But I can't do that without you. I'm ready, man. As far as the business is concerned and what is at stake, it's our family life. I'll see you back at the restaurant. He wants the end of the day. This place can't control us. It's time for us to control it. So whatever it takes. Now convinced that Marine will give Mitch the support he desperately needs, Chef Ramsay heads back to the Grasshopper to see if the restaurant is clean enough to open for dinner. Can I just have a, can I have a look? I hope Chef Ramsay will uh, see a big change in the way we're running this kitchen today. It's better than yesterday, yeah. All right, guys, get set up for service tonight. I want this set up completely, OK? We learned from uh, what went on yesterday and, and hope we get through it OK today. To be the leader. I don't even know if I can, how I'm going to handle this tonight. Don't beat yourself up all the time. Don't 
stuff eating yourself up. I'm eating myself up, that's right. Enough. Mitch is gonna help. He'll, he'll give it a whirl. But he has to learn to be a better communicator and um, work together as a team, or else we're not gonna make it. I will pull through this, by God. While Maureen tried to energize Mitch, Chef Ramsay knows that years of disappointing his wife and his father-in-law... Mitch, you got two seconds? Yes, sir. Uh, take me to the office, please. ...has resulted in a complete loss of confidence for Mitch. Are you OK? Am I OK? Yeah. 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 OK, tonight, I want you to really seriously, yeah, make it work. You've yeah. got to get this right. Run it. Let them hear your voice. You wear your heart on your sleeve, you know that. I know. I know. I get emotional, you know? I can and, see that. I can and, see uh, that. I can see that. But relax. And, uh, you can do and, this. The minute you find that voice, yeah. they'll all back off. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, go Thank on. you. Thanks for let's coming. Let's go. After hopefully energizing Mitch, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to the menu. OK, Mario, let's go. Adding two appropriate specials, authentic Irish shepherd's pie and fish and chips. OK. Colour the vegetables nice and fine. So as it starts to cook, it disintegrates in the mince. Salt, please. I know you don't use it. Salt. 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 No, no. Thank you. Season. OK, from there, mashed potatoes made with cheese. It, it seasons it. Come on, guys. I want you to taste it. The shepherd's pie was awesome. I was excited about that. I enjoyed it. My staff enjoyed it. And I hope the customers will, too. OK, the fish. Lightly seasoned flour. And you don't want to just drop it in, right? No. Guys, it's a piece of fish. I mean, it's not a dish cloth. Crisp batter. So you season it as it cools down. Chief, what do you think? Oh, that's it. We should do this a long time ago. Two specials. We roll with them. Because I'm with you. You're expediting. Okay. Big time. I don't know if I'm going to be the leader, but I'm going to try. I'm not confident. I just want to crawl into a fucking hole. After refusing to open on night one, I am not serving that shit in there. Chef Ramsay strengthens the menu with his version of a shepherd's pie and fish and chips. Oh, that's it. Now he is hoping to get some encouraging signs as he watches Mitch and his staff during a dinner service. Okay. Um, yeah, I have got a clue what you say. Is that Spanish, uh, Scottish, uh, Irish? What's he uh, talking about? La fish and cheese, we make bayore. Cheese what? Are you making the fish, fish and, and chips by order? What do you mean, by order? Do you cook it in advance sometimes? No, you're not free cooking up. Oh, shit, no. They fry fish off in advance? Oh, you're kidding me. Jesus well, Christ. Do you, know, do you know the way to cook a burger faster? A burger takes 10 minutes to cook. You can't cook a burger faster. When it's cooked, we send it. Uh, OK. OK, here we go. Hello, how are you? We have two homemade specials, the shepherd's pie and fish and chips. I'll have the uh, fish and chips. Is there any of the shepherd's pie? I'll have the fish and chips. Oh, Mitch, here we go. First table's here, yes? Where are you going? Stay here. No. Where is he going? I don't know where he's going. Yeah, Timbuktu or what fucking Ireland. I don't know where he's going. What do you want? Relax. I told you to stay there. I'm not going anywhere. No way. Are you anybody's bitch tonight? Come on. Okay. I need one fish and chips special and three shepherd pie specials. Cheers, Mitch. Mario's the only one that's listening to Mitch. Everybody got me, right? Hello down there. I need beer battered Irish sausage and chips. Yes, Mitch! Yes, yes Mitch. Mitch! Listen up. I need a fish and chips, a shepherd's pie, and a sliced steak. Yes, yes, Mitch. Mitch. yes, Mitch! It appears as though Mitch and the kitchen are now on the same page, and the cooks are beginning to fill the orders. Mitch, which neighbor? What did she say? 40? Huh? I don't have to. I don't know. I'll have to wait she comes back. Oh, Jesus. But Chef Ramsay notices another potential communication problem. Don't you have a copy of the tickets? No, I don't have it. An expediter needs the control of the tickets. Wow. We haven't even got Absolutely. a decent POS system. Jesus Christ. So there's the order. I need I that put, now. Yeah. Just get yeah. it. Yeah. There's confusion with the dupes all the time because it's all handwritten. It's so antiquated. It's just, it's ridiculous. Come on, guys, tickets are piling up. Una mozzarella steak, aquí va. You can it. I did, but it's fine. Right. I don't think so. While the chefs rush to push food out. Just stop. That was the French onion soup. Little attention is being paid to quality control. 
Just stop for two seconds. Look, we cannot serve that. We cannot go to this extent and try to start building a reputation and serving that. When you're the expediter, you're the last point of control. Oh, right. So right. your standards are there. Their standards are there. You've got to start putting in some structure. Come on, Mitch, All please. Right. This one here. We're working on it, Chief. Right now, they're doing it now. Well, get the fuck out. Fish and chips, 43. After a slow start. Fish and chips. Food is now making its way out to the diners. Everything's good? OK. And while the new specials are making a good impression, it definitely tastes like an actual Irish dish. Yeah. The regular menu I just it's, it's, like, raw. it's like raw. Isn't impressing anyone. That's disgusting. This, this is, is gross. gross. Want me to take it away? My apologies. OK, hon? That's so it's like medium well. And that's medium rare. Come on. It's supposed to be medium right, well. Another burger, medium well. Where's the standard? What burger? Come on, guys. How could you fuck up a hamburger? I'm still so sad. Medium, yes? Yes. Fuck. Come here. All of you come here. <sighs> Touch it. It's fucking raw. Did you check it? I oh, didn't. Come on. Mario, all I want is a burger. A fucking burger. Come on. What the fuck is going on? Mitch, I'm watching your mistakes. See if you can go outside and say hi to people. No, I can't right? go out. All right? no you're not helping any. You're not doing anything here, so what good are you? Two hours into dinner service, and the kitchen is beginning to unravel. It's soft. This is ice like cold. With dish. Is that all? Too rare? Rare. After dish. The penny's raw. Coming back. Ah, oh, dear. Sorry. Yeah, just, uh, would you mind if I just take that away for two seconds? I'm so sorry. Sure. Excuse me. We've got two oh. seconds. Good morning. What is that? Let me just tell you something. When I was busting my chops earlier, making it for you, I turned my back for five minutes, and you send that out. Chef. Chef. Come on, guys. On the back of 115 customers in two and a half hours, resolved to that. Chef Ramsay was just like, to hell with all of you. There's no passion, there's no care for any of the food coming out. All you fuckers get paid? Where's the worry on your faces? If you're my brigade, I would have fired you fucking 16 years ago. You, 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 and fucking you. The dinner service is now approaching three hours. It's raw. And a steady stream of dishes has been returned to the kitchen. If you're my brigade, I would have fired you fucking 16 years ago. Chef Ramsay is fed up, and he knows he needs to make an unusual move to save this restaurant. Hi, James, it's Gordon. Yeah, listen, uh, buddy, I need some help. Um, I need it quickly. Um, can you get uh, yourself down here? The grasshopper, please. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two more, right? Back inside the restaurant. What's going on with the last one? The final orders of the night go out. Thank you very much. Have a good night. That was a disaster. Brutal. That was very brutal. In shock, I'm drained. I'm tired. That was rough. A real freaking disaster. In there, they turn up, they pick up the check, and they piss off home. They're not here for you. I realized I had to do something drastic. I've called a very talented local chef, and he just got here. James, please. This guy's worked at some of the best restaurants in America. Hey, chef. Good to see you. You too. Tomorrow, he's going to work with me and implement a standard here that needs to be put in place to move forward. And by the way, he's not only a chef, he's Irish. Tomorrow, we relaunch, we stick together as a team, and we kick ass. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, thank you. Thank you very much. After the arrival of Chef James, Chef Ramsay decided to go ahead with his overnight plan of giving the dreary grasshopper a much-needed makeover. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the beginning of the new grasshopper. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Come and have a look. Welcome to the new grasshopper. Oh, oh my Chief. God. Look my at God. this. My God. Love it. That looks awesome. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely yeah. fabulous. Gone are the dark, dingy colours. The green walls have gone. Very exciting. Welcome to the new beautiful, vibrant colour. Awesome. Yeah. The mahogany looks yeah. much nicer Green. with the champagne wall. It's incredible. It's bright. It's cheery. Oh, Everything oh. is beautiful. Mitch, are you happy? Yes, I am. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Maureen, are you happy? Yeah? Come on. You guys have got to come together. Thank you. Yes? Thank you. We replaced the old stained glass. We've got some modern style lamp. I love these lamps. Mitch, you happy? Does it put an extra spring in your step? It's great. I love it. It's a breath of Ooh. fresh air. This table, beautiful. A local artist designed it. Look how good this looks in here. This is unbelievable. It's positioned in the center of the room, so it becomes a sort of focal family table. This whole thing has just got a breath of fresh air to it. You happy? OK. There is life back in this place. I can't wait to see our customers' faces when they first come to see the new improved grasshopper. I did make one more significant change. Annette, put your hands on that box. You've been stuck in the dark ages with this horrendous way of taking orders. This is now going to make your life so much easier. Oh. Extraordinary. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. The state of the art POS system by Halo. I can't even imagine how much it's going to change everything for us. It's going to make you so much yeah. more efficient. I'm telling you, this is unbelievable. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, you're an amazing guy. <laughs> Tonight, we have got to make to it make happen. It. We have to be to. on top of it all tonight. Mitch looked at me and he had tears in his eyes and he said, maybe this is our opportunity. The change in the decor will make the grasshopper more inviting, but the most critical makeover has been made to the menu. Gone are the greasy, tired, uninspired dishes, and in its place are new, vibrant Irish-American dishes that are not only pleasing to the eye, but rich in taste and flavor. Welcome to the grasshopper new menu. Clearly smaller. Why is it smaller? Quality controlling the costs and trying to get consistent. Irish potato skins, fresh mozzarella sticks, corned beef with carrots and potatoes, the house burger with Irish cheddar, shepherd's pie with the most amazing mash. Chief, especially for you, Irish ale stew. Unbelievable. When he came along and showed us that Irish menu, the way he had it made up, and said, this is it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The new menu is fabulous. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Get the staff, a little taste. This food has spirit, life to it, so it'll change this place. Just like Mama used to make it. Chief, you need to be honest, firm, firm and you can't stop no, being firm. No, no. And you call as you said. Well, no, no. And they have to listen to you. Do you know why? Because you're wise. That's right. Well, You've I'm had going... success in your yeah. life. Yeah. There's only one chief, and you're it. Yeah, OK. Welcome to the Grasshopper. This is our new menu. The whole new menu just looks delicious. Right? I'm going to have the potato, the beef potato soup. Shepherd's pie. Tonight, Chef James will be behind the line, overseeing the cooks. Got all your sauces. Keep turning. And Mitch, who is desperate not to repeat last night's disaster, will be expediting. All right, can I get a two beer battered shrimp, lamb sliders? Give me five. Give me five soups. Five potato soup all day. I got this. You do the soup. Come on. OK, got to put more parsley on this. With Chef James controlling the line. You keep that put it in the window. Don't worry. He doesn't need to take it. 41, huh, Mitch? 41. Here you go. Thank you. Right. Let's go. Appetizers are moving out quickly to the customers. This is really good. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Now the pressure shifts to Mitch to keep the kitchen organized and the momentum going. All right, just fire the, uh... What do you have? I need a beer battered shrimp and a pit and a ham and pea soup. Can you, can you call it again, please? When I was watching Mitch expedite, I noticed that he wasn't communicating with the line the way he should have been, and he was getting himself backed up. That's gonna be, this is gonna get fucked up here. Mitch, I don't, I don't like this. order. Mitch, come on, you gotta talk to him, Mitch. You, 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 you're, you're, all right, you're, all right, you're come in. Come on, guys, let's go, all right. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Fire the entree. He's gonna cook what you tell him. Okay, I'm sorry. I need a poor boy, I need two poor boys, lamb sliders, two shrimp, four battered shrimp, three battered shrimp. 
First appetizers went out brilliantly. We have a real problem in the kitchen, and that's Mitch's expediting. You gotta get a system going. Just think. You gotta get a system going. If this guy was an air traffic controller, he'd be landing planes at the wrong frickin' airport. Appetizers. While customers anxiously wait for the food. I think that might be the only thing we might have tonight. So. <laughs> you got your food yet? We didn't get it yet. Chef Ramsay is still waiting for Mitch to step up and take control of his kitchen. I've got fish and chips and Irish stew. Is that a way or an order? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on! Mitch, you cannot do that to us. With the kitchen at a complete standstill. Mitch, 35 needs their food. Dad, please. A frustrated chief tries to help out. Mitch. Out of the kitchen. But it's not exactly welcomed. Don't fuck with me. Shut up. What are you telling me to shut up? I said kitchen. shut up. That's not right. Get out of the kitchen. I said shut up. Just stop. Just stop. No. Stop. Hey, Mario. Stop. It's relaunch night at the Grasshopper. Come on! And despite providing Mitch with a new tasty menu, and Chef James to supervise the cooks. You keep that and put it in the window. Don't worry, he doesn't need to take it. Mitch's failure in the kitchen has resulted in a battle between his wife and his father-in-law. Shut up! What are you telling me to shut up? I said shut up! Just stop! Stop! Hey! And Chef Ramsay has had enough. We are not gonna continue along these lines. James! I'm sorry. Come round, please. Mitch, I want you assisting James. James, I want you expediting. All right, guys, let's go. Regroup. For the first time in 16 fucking years. Work together. Yes. Start again. Take over, please. Chef, I need those five soups right away. Listen and assist him. I am. Potato skin, you need this first. Right now. Thank you. All right, that's going. Well, run it out there, Mitch. Run it out there. I am. Finally, I found a job for Mitch. He's running food out. Potato skins. What table number? Where are you going with them? Where are you going with them? Potato skins? It's 22. I was going with food and a table set. I didn't order that. Shepherd's pie. Oh, no, I got pasta. No, she got pasta. I was going to all the wrong tables. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. Table 40, runner, please. All right. Mitch, get out. You, let's go. We're making progress. Let's go. Chip away at this. Chef Ramsay's decision to move Mitch out of the kitchen and replace him with Chef James as the expediter... Guys, I have three tickets in front of me. We're almost there. ...has completely turned around dinner service. Customers are now getting their food... Really good. ...and are thrilled with what they are getting. Definitely coming back. I'm out of tickets, so, guys, that's it. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you, guys. As a difficult dinner service finally comes to an end, Chef Ramsay knows he has to have a difficult conversation with the owners. OK, I'm going to be brutally honest. This restaurant will not succeed unless you make the necessary staff changes. And you can make it work, Mitch. I know you weren't professionally trained, but it's down to you. Yes. I brought you James the expertise that you desperately need to get this ship back on course. Take advantage of James. Listen to him. Do it. And do it quick. Good night, guys. Change is scary. Good luck. But we got to take his advice and make the right decisions. This has been one of the most toughest nightmares I've ever done. Because this restaurant has everything it needs to succeed, except one thing, a leader. I just wish that Chief was 20 years younger. Because right now, there's no one in there that can fill his shoes. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Only days after Chef Ramsay left, Chef Mario was shown the door. And your house pasta, shrimp only, no veggies. The owners convinced Chef James to stay on as a consultant and properly train the kitchen staff. Which is great. And in the weeks that followed, Mitch took Chef Ramsay's advice to heart. That's easy, right? And it's sexy. Fast and furious. Learning from Chef James. No bun for the turkey burger and just fresh puts it out. And finally becoming the leader the grasshopper always needed. Make it nice and make it twice. I have changed, yes. 
My focus is 100% in that kitchen. Thank you, folks. Everything was good? Okay, great.